Hi, I'm Dr. Bertie Spirit. I want to tell you a story. I believe that your legacy is not what you leave when you die. It's what you leave when you leave the room. When you walk in, you bring some energy. But by the time you leave, the energy that you left, that is felt, that people experienced, whether it's in a park, in a room, on a plane, people feel your presence. And what's the essence, the energy you're leaving? I was in South Korea and I was giving a lecture to 5,000 investment bankers. And it was already, <laughs> investment banking is not my forte. <laughs> And then it was in a, and it's to many, many people in the audience who didn't speak lang the language that I spoke. They spoke many languages. They were from all over Asia. And there were, I think, 30 translators for 30, well, there were more than 30, but there were 30 languages being translated that day. And so I knew not to go in the room to try to be an investment banker, because first of all, I'm not. And that's not what they brought me there for. And a lot of times we try to be who we're talking to when really you're there to be who you are. Hmm. And so I talked about purpose. I talked about why we're here, the importance of what it is that we do when we're here. And the true meaning of it is not to make a whole lot of wealth, but to create um, generations that can build upon and make the world a better place to make the world a better place with every life you touch after that speech hundreds of people came up to me and they were bowing and they were saying the same thing and I was like what are they saying and somebody said be up John be up John and I said what is be up John what does that mean and someone said he's a venerable monk very high monk and he died last night and you gave his last sermon. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I I felt that and everywhere I went, people were going, be up John, be up John. What are you talking about? So I looked him up and I read about him and his whole thing was on possessiveness and how we, we have too many things and these things have us. And right before he died, the night before I gave this speech, he looked around to his disciples and said, if you have anything left in your possession, use it to make the world a more fragrant place. Don't spend a lot of time with this first question. What do people feel when you leave? Not, not what you think they feel. What is it that you're giving them to feel? What is it that you are giving them to feel? What is it that you're giving them to remember, to know without saying a word? Most of the spaces I'm in, I don't talk. I'm on a plane, I sit down, I'm reading, I'm doing a word game, I'm, I don't talk. But what do people feel when I leave? The next question, what can you intentionally make sure that they feel without a word, just your presence? Are you using your life to make the world a more fragrant place? I love you.